Hi, welcome to Moo Math. Today we're going to learn how to change a quadratic equation to standard form. So this is all quadratics in our quadratics unit. Okay, I have given you an equation and it's in vertex form and we need to switch it to standard form. So let's first write the two forms down. Okay, the vertex form is y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k and then the Standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we are converting from this form to this form. Okay, so as you can see, we're in, uh, we have a perfect square, so we are in vertex form, and we need to, I don't know if that's coming out real clear for you guys. There we go. Um, we need to switch it. So I am going to FOIL or write out this x minus 8 twice because I'm squaring it. So I have opposite or negative of x minus 8 times x minus 8 plus 2. So I'm going to write out all my factors here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is FOIL both of these together. So let's do that first, outer, inner, and last, okay, and all that is being multiplied by a negative, and I'm going to go ahead and write negative 1 here, so I remember to multiply by that negative, and I'm going to bring down my 2. Now, let's distribute that negative in, so I'm going to have a negative x squared plus 8x plus 8x, and I could have combined that to 16 first if I had a wanted, if I had a uh, desired to. Okay, and then minus 64, so I'm distributing a negative in, which changes all the signs. Now let's just simplify. So what am I left with? I'm left with, let's see, negative x squared plus 16x, and then negative 64 plus 2 is negative 62. And that is my equation in standard form, where a is negative 1, b is 16, and c is negative 62. So let's look what one more of those. I have 3 times x plus 2 quantity squared. So let's write out two of those. I always call those twins because you have two of those. Okay, I'm not going to distribute my 3 first. I'm going to FOIL first. So let's do first, outer, inner, and last. Okay, and then I'm going to bring the 3 down and bring the negative 5 down. Now I'm going to distribute in the 3. So I have a 3x squared plus, let's see, 6x plus 6x plus 12. And then bring down the minus 5. It doesn't get distributed. The 3 doesn't get distributed to the 5 because it's not in parentheses. So let's see, my final answer would be y equals 3x squared. Combine my two middle terms plus 12x. Combine the 12 and the, the 5, and that's going to combine to plus 7, a positive 7. And there is the equation in standard form where a is 3, b is 12, and c is 7. So that's how you convert from vertex to standard form. There's going to be another video that's going to show you how to convert from standard back to vertex form. And you can watch it if you need to.